Today we are going to learn how to multiply a multi-digit number by two-digit number by setting the multiplication problem in columns. First of all, to understand this video, you need to know how to multiply by a one-digit number. If you don't know how to multiply yet, I invite you to watch this video by clicking here. Here is a multiplication problem. We will multiply 345 by 37. I remind you that 37 is 30 plus 7, which is 3 tens plus 7 ones. So multiplying 354 by 37 is the same as multiplying 354 by 30 and multiplying 354 by 7. Then we add the two results after we finish our multiplication steps. To find the result of this multiplication problem, we are going to learn together how to set it up in column. First of all, think about using a paper with large squares to place each digit in a square. It helps you to organize your calculation. To start, we will write 354 at the top, then place the number 37 below it. Since it is 3 tens and 7 ones, we must therefore put the 7 just below the 4 in the ones of place column and the 3 below the 5 in the tens of place column. Then we can write the multiplication sign to the left and draw the line that separates the calculation from its result. We will first multiply 354 by the ones digit which is 7 and write the result in the answer box. Then we will multiply 354 by the tenth digit which is 3 and write the result in the answer box. And at the end, we will add the two results. As in addition or subtraction, we always start with the ones digit. We multiply 7 by 4. 7 times 4 equals 28. The number 28 is made up of 2 tens and 8 ones. We write 8 in the ones of place column of the answer line, but 2 will be carried up to the top of the tens of place column above 5. Then we multiply 7 by the tens digit which is 5. 7 times 5 equals 35. Then we add the carry which is 2. It gives us 37. And don't forget to cross the carry in order not to use it again. We write 7 in the tens of place in the answer line and we carry 3. Now we will multiply 7 by the hundredth digit which is 3. 7 times 3 equals 21. Then add the carry which is 3. It gives us 24. Since there are no more numbers to multiply it by 7, so write directly 24 in the answer line. And don't forget to cross out the carry. So 354 times 7 equals 2478. But the multiplication problem is not done yet. Now we must move on to the tenth digit which is 3. The result of multiplying by 30 will be written on the second answer line just below the first one. Notice that since we want to multiply by 30 and to simplify the calculation, we put 0 in the ones of place column in the second answer line. And now it remains only to multiply by 3. We multiply 3 by the ones digit which is 4. 3 times 4 equals 12. We write 2 and we carry 1. Then we multiply 3 by the tens digit which is 5. 3 times 5 equals 15. Then we add the carry which is 1. It gives us 16. So we write 6 and carry 1. Now multiply 3 by the hundredth digit, 3 times 3 equals 9, then add the carry, it gives us 10. And since there are no more numbers to multiply by 3, we write 10 directly. So 354 times 30 equals 10,620. The multiplication problem is not over yet, we just have to calculate the sum of these two multiplication answers. 2478 plus 10,620. 8 plus 0 equals 8. 7 plus 2 equals 9. 4 plus 6 equals 10. We write 0 and we carry 1. So 1 plus 2 equals 3. And 0 plus 1 equals 1. So 354 times 37 equals 13,098. Our multiplication problem is done. And now all we have to do is to practice multiplying well.